What is up, YouTube? Demon Sparks here today again, as always. So, take a quick look at the Demon Sparks junkyard scrap. Repurposed salvage items. Uh, it's like the good old days. The first cart built up. Just made a quick little teaser. This is made out of base frame. My futon mattress as well as a weed whacker crossbar for the transmission transfer for the end along with the coupling hitch attachment bought off of ebay quick release pin hooks up to your hitch on your bike spring mechanism with the inner bushing of like rubber or plastic flexible this is the best side of the frame for the futon mattress, the heaviest welds on them, so a lot more sturdy, and solid steel of course, and this is down in here quite a bit with lock nut hardware on there, this needs to be a little bit touched up on the paint job to keep this from rusting out, especially getting water inside the tube frame, this is actually the bottom side, I'll flip it over. I'm going to flip it over to the correct angle since the bike hitch goes in from the left side or the left side of the wheel. And that's what it looks like. Into the tube frame. The old Schwinn cart rag joint stuff. <laughs> There's some of the uh, original Schwinn cart. It's a $200 cart basically is some of it left. I'll show you what I did with the rest of that for you guys in a second. These are the quick release styled wheels. Press up, pull the wheel off. It's pretty cool. One of these has a bent axle on the inside of the pin, but you can obviously see on this one it is the one that's bent. So it's running in a different hub system from my Schwinn cart, and this is from a baby stroller. Is a bottom rear end axle assembly I chopped and have inserted through in a tube, double tube frame, solid steel of course. The lock and chain, not too bad. This is the first prototype frame design. This is built for my mate, of course. You'll see their bike in this build a little bit later, but as for mine, got over here. Pick it up, protect it as best we can. We got the DSX cart. We got the danger car shit going on. This is the old target board. This is a target board frame. This is sitting on there with a nice padded mattress. Still having some more minor bolting pattern stuff to do for reinforced support for this. Obviously, I only got part of the front grill support brace installed. Again, this is also made from the futon mattress at the bottom spring end. And this is going to be a pretty simplistic quick release on the third wheel support. Very nice. The 12 inch, I think I have it running at 40 PSI, so it's a very, very solid tire. As you can see, holds up a lot of weight, especially if you have a stable load on this. Very good. The pivoting system is also re from a stroller system with a quick release lock. As you can see now it's locked into place. Now it's moving all these straight. You can't have any turnage to it. The quick release unlock allows you to pivot and turn it the way you need to go. I also have some test demos of me actually being on this hold and riding around on it, which is quite fun. I need to finish off the rest of the bolt patterns on this for the top side of the rail, the front guard rail. This also, I will show you guys, is a near 10 second quick release. Uh, these are pliers. I'm getting eaten up out of here. It's getting mosquito season time. That time of the day, so all you gotta do is unlock this. Remove the three washers, the bottom washer, middle washer, I'm sorry, well, two washers and the one nylon lock nut. 
lift up the chassis. And now you have the entire assembly removed. And this is the assembly, what it would be without the third hitch wheel, which is mostly done as on most trailers as the support for when it's holding stable load or it's unhitched from the vehicle or etc. Repurposed assembly arm from the original Schwinn cart tube framing, the original hitch. That's what it is so far. The back rail is going to be probably matching to the front as well. I was just kind of inspired to see in the uh, YouTube video in the New York City area someone had a gas bike build, I do believe it was, or even just a bicycle build, and it was very similar to that though. And this is all out of salvaged materials and stuff that I didn't pay anything for, just found being trashed and had repurposed, so basically a under $10 build, and so far it's been able to hold up to 145 pounds being pulled on a bicycle and that's pretty impressive especially considering this entire cart size as well as the weight of its own chassis so it's surprisingly easy to pull very very easy get the 20 inch in the rears have a minor hub problem with this one nothing too severe but it has a little bit of a play issue in it probably due to the bad bearings after a while the rest of the frame needs to be bolted down only have a couple pieces of a lot of damage from this being a target board from a, uh, the Psi 160 PSI crossbow that my mate and I played around with for a while. And this board's been sitting over the period of winter, so reassembly is extremely easy to place. Tighten it back down. Like that. Black into place. You're yeah, pretty good to go. It's getting dark, so it's a little more difficult to video, but I'm gonna go give you guys a little progress demo sneak peek of what's the next upcoming project to be finalized on the channel. Very smooth rolling. A little bit of the undercarriage. And it's all original pretty much. Very cool DIY assembly build that I came up with. Hope you guys enjoyed. Absolutely. Stay tuned for more future updates and finalizations of these projects and the gas bike builds. I have a new Super PK80 motor to be installed to the Kokomo project and more of the Cranbrook project as well. That's my mate's bike. Thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.